Hey gang, thought I'd give you guys uh, an update on the walk-in cooler. We've done a lot since last time I did a video. Um, I'll just kind of take a walk around here. We got uh, the pony wall um, fabricated for the bar top. And I'm actually, I think I might go with a local uh, carpenter here to try to make the bar top. Um, don't want to screw that up. Um, so we just roughed that in. Um, the cooler kind of came out looking pretty nice. So we didn't stain the borders. That's just the natural pine, uh, uh, the natural color that we got from the pine uh, down here in Mexico. Uh, we stained that there and it looks pretty good, kind of encl enclosed with the frame there. And on the other side, I went vertical on the panels to uh, mix it up a little bit. So it actually looks, looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, a lot of videos I saw, they, they said to paint the wall black first. And to be honest with you, I didn't really want to go get paint. So I took, I saw another video on YouTube and a guy took, um, I think it's like two inch thick um, or wide um, duct tape, black duct tape or gaffer's tape or whatever. And I, I put the tape on wherever you see a crack. That way you're not looking at the the whiteness of your of your uh, plywood on the back. So it, it turned out pretty good, I think. And um, uh, I'm having, uh, here I'll come around on the other side here just so I can show you what I'm talking about. Right here are gonna be our faucets for our draft beer, okay? So there's gonna be 12 of them. They're gonna be four inches on center. And I'm having a, a local guy here I met, uh, he's a fantastic craftsman on uh, stainless steel. And so he's making a nice backsplash out of stainless steel with the holes every four inches. And he's also putting a one inch um, uh, stainless steel tube on the back of the panel. So we'll drill holes one inch all the way through and then he'll put the panel on here and the the uh, uh, the tubes of stainless steel will pass through this wall so that I can maintain the temperature of the shanks that are gonna pass through those tubes. It's really gonna look trick. And um, I told my my friend over here, Hilberto, <laughs> there he is waving, that I've never made a door before, first time making a uh, walk-in cooler out of, wet, uh, out of wood. And um, we made our first door and you can hear it cr creaking. And so it actually goes in and out and it actually works. And so basically what I did is I did the same exact thing. I, I framed it using two by fours. I put the formula in there with the R, uh, with a three inch um, formula, which is R15. So I'm getting R20 on this door and I put the vapor barrier on the, on the outside of this. And, um, and just to go in here, see if you guys can see it here. This is where the shanks are gonna come through and that uh, stainless steel tubing. And then we're gonna actually make a nether piece of stainless steel, this box. It's, the box is gonna go in and then he's gonna weld the tubes onto the, the stainless steel box so that we can maintain uh, the temperature from inside here, inside the, the walk-in cooler, all the way out to the um, to the faucets. I was talking to one of the my subscri YouTube subscribers, and he was suggesting strongly that we put FRP or glass liner, as they call it down here, um, on the walls. And I think I have about five or six sheets left, and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. So we're going to next step is going to put be put uh, um, FRP fire uh, resistant plastic on this wall first because this should be ready in a week or so put it on this wall and then we'll we'll finish the rest but i will give it a nicer uh, touch it'll look good and um and uh, i think it's going to maintain the longevity of the cooler once that's done we'll go ahead and put the mini split in over there and run power in here and we should be ready to go so uh um i think that's pretty much it uh, for the cooler. We're, I'm gonna try something funky here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but here's the door. And I was gonna have the panels go all the way up so that when you're walking in, 
you can't really tell that there's a door here. So I'll put another six inch piece of uh, uh, pine here, another six, six, go all the way up. So when you walk in, you see this wall and you don't really see a door. But when you open it, I mean, obviously it will pull away from the top over here. So the verdict's out on that. So anyway, just thought I'd give you guys a little update on the, on the, the walk-in cooler and the progress that we're making. Have a good one. Cheers.